all of the community water systems are required to be inspected at least once every three years. And what we call non-community water systems, like a well that might be providing water to a convenience store that's out in the country or, or a trailer park or church, you know, those are only required to be inspected uh, once every five years. But we have to go out periodically and review the records and look at the water plant you know, just, just to make sure that that everything's as it's supposed to be. Well, we have oversight. The water systems are following the regulations. Mm -hmm. Most of them do a pretty good job. So this is going to be the Martindale Water Supply Corporation. Uh, it's located in Caldwell County. They have three wells. They are groundwater, the, groundwater under the influence wells. As you can see, the San Marcos River is right behind us. That's why they're classified as groundwater under the influence. They are influenced by the surface water of the river, so they're required to treat for microorganisms, Giardia, Cryptosporidium, things like that. So um, it's a little more stringent than a groundwater system, but not quite a surface water treatment plant. So it's a little bit of a unique system. It's kind of in between. All right, and then you still have the three wells, correct? We have two active wells. Two active. So which one's inactive? Is it the one nearest the, the one river? closest to the okay, river. Okay, that's what I thought. Yes. They use a membrane plant, which is a um, kind of a newer technology that a lot of systems don't have right now. This is a myox system. This is how we make free pouring. It works off food grade salt, anode, cathode. Mm -hmm. Sodium goes to a waste stream. I end up with chlorine about 17,000 parts per million, about okay. half the concentration of bleach. This is the Allen Bradley control unit. Okay. This device, this is where the This is what communicates with the SCADA as well? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is take a water sample to uh, ensure that the disinfection in the water is up to the standards, which is at least 0.2 milligrams per liter of the disinfectant. The reagent will react with the chlorine in the water and then that's how we can kind of determine um, what the concentration is going to be because this machine is called a pocket colorimeter and it uses sun, or it uses light and shoots light through the sample to tell us what the concentration is. So wipe all my fingerprints off. And we've got a 1.32, which is in compliance. I always look to the inspectors as, as giving me a hand. You know, uh, they tip me off when something is not, is not up to, to code that I need to fix so that the public has confidence in this. 